Hello, this is Jabari Morris with Real Progressives, and I just want to take a few minutes to talk about the importance of solidarity in the progressive movement and how we move forward. As we know, unfortunately, we're going to be most likely stuck with either Trump or most likely Clinton. That has really made me literally sick over the last week or so that to come to that realization. Even though I voted for Jill Stein, and I hope everybody else went out there and voted for Jill Stein and other progressives out there, it really hurts down the, uh, the pit of my existence that we know we're going to end up most likely with one of those two idiots. So that means that it's up to us, as Steve said last night, it's up to us to try to hold things together and hold these people accountable because we can't count on Democrats to hold a Democrat accountable. No. Only thing they're going to hold them accountable to is for whatever promises they gave to them specifically. And what I mean by those Democrats, I don't mean by Democrats like, like me or you or somebody. I mean like dem Democrats like corporate Democrats. And we know the Republicans ain't going to hold nobody accountable, even if Trump wins, because if they, they're not going to hold Trump accountable to anything. No. They're just going to let him go ahead and do what he wants to do as long as it makes sure it serves their neoliberal and corporatist purposes. That's what we stuck with right now. We stuck with the warmonger Hillary, who's going to do a lot of warmongering, or we stuck with Trump, who's going to do a lot of idiocy, and we really don't know what he's going to do, but we know either way they're not going to do anything for us. Amen, Breeze. Republicans and Democrats are two heads in the same body. Or as I like to say, Republicans and Democrats are two sides of the same corrupt corporatist coin. That's what we're stuck with, unfortunately. So we don't need that to happen to us again. So the first, our first day of getting things together for 2018 and 2020 starts today. Like Steve said, if you know people who voted for Hillary or voted for Trump, don't when they whichever one wins tonight, don't let them feel good about their choice. Make sure they know that these choices that they made that wouldn't support the greater good or to support evil, not a lesser evil, just plain exactly evil. These people need to know that progressives are going to be out there. And we're going to rock the world until everybody knows about what needs to be known about. That means universal health care, student debt, stu student debt relief, um, greening our energy sources, stopping these pipelines from being built like the one that like the one they got in Alabama that burst up in the flames last week. We have to be dedicated to the issues. And those issues that we are dedicated to, we need to make sure that everybody around us know. Don't let them say, well, oh, the election is over. We don't want to hear about politics anymore. No. The story has just begun today. And if we don't make people know about what the real story is today, they're going to fall asleep again if they haven't already been asleep. We have to work our hardest to keep people awake. And to wake up more people. Because we know the, what the blue pill offers. We know what the red pill offers. Right now we're on the green pill. We have to be working hard. So that we can have a third party. So we're not left with these binary choices. Where we, everybody's stuck choosing a lesser evil. Because all we know is. They're going to keep getting worse. And worse and worse candidates. As they keep going down the pipeline. Because there's not anybody standing up to the two party system. So as progressives, we need to go out there, not just on social media, but in person. Uh, we know everybody can't be a true, act, maybe an activist that goes out there with signs and goes out there and marches. But you can be an activist in your own community. You can be an activist at the grocery store. You can be an activist at work. You can be an activist anywhere that you are. Let them know the, the truth is that we are stuck in a neoliberal trap that forces a horrible choice upon us, whether it's the D choice or the R choice. It's still a horrible choice. So we need to go out there. We have to be strong. We have to stick together. 
you know, you look on Twitter, you look around Facebook and everywhere, you'll see where the progressive movement started splintering up after Bernie left. And it stayed splintering up. Now's the time that we need to stop the splintering and we need to be devoted to the issues. Because once election day is over, it, it doesn't matter what um elect, what person got elected or not. It's only about issues then. Only the issues. Because the person who won will already be in power. So we need to work on making sure the issues are strong, the issues are well articulated, and that they are constantly put in the faces of those who don't understand or refuse to understand. Again, universal health care, got to stick up for it. We can't let them blur us with lies on, well, oh, we're going to make improvements to Obamacare or the ACA. We're going to make things better that way. No. We know what the ACA is. We know it's a corporate giveaway. We need something better. We need real universal health care. Whether it's single payer or something else, health care should be a citizen's benefit, as Stephen spoke about last night. A citizen's benefit. We need to have universal health care that is paid for by the federal government, not by taxes. Because as we know, taxes don't pay for spending. We don't been through that a thousand times. They do not. So again, make sure they know about it so we can have the health care that we all deserve. Education. We need to wipe out student debt. Jill's plan, while not exactly sticking up with monetary sovereignty or MMT, is a workable one. We need to forgive student debt and give students a chance to go out there and work and earn a living without being saddled with tons and tons of debt. Also, we need to switch to green energy sources. We have to figure out a way. We have the technology. Like I'm right here in Florida. It's always windy and it's always sunny. Between the two of them, we should be able to make a lot of energy for Florida alone. But nobody wants to hear that. You know why? Because the fossil fuel companies, they want to go out there and frack in Florida. Florida's building a freaking limestone. You go down underneath Florida, there's the Florida aquifer. The Florida aquifer is nothing but limestone underneath. You frack in Florida, you're going to cause sinkholes. We already had some sinkholes already. Sinkholes aren't fun. There's big old pits in the ground. People houses that have sunk into those pits. So we have to stand up for green energy. Solar. When we need to develop, we need to develop the ability to go use um, ocean currents. They have some of that technology together, but we're not using it. Why? Because the fossil fuel companies want to make money off of what is easy for them to pull up out of the ground. Eventually, it's going to run out. We know. We don't know if it's sooner or later, but it's going to run out. So those are the th things we need to stick up for. On top of that, electoral reform. I'm suggesting that in every state that there's a real progressive in, we find multiple groups of people. We get together and we try to get ranked choice vo voting instituted. We need to make sure that we're not stu stuck with lesser evils and that we have more options. Also, we all need to get together and try to get rid of this electoral college. When the electoral college was created, it was created for a system of elite landowners in the colonies. It wasn't created for everybody. It was created to make sure the powerful stay in power. We need to stop that. We need to go and have a system that counts our votes equally. One person equals one vote. No electoral college. These are the things that we as progressives need to get together and do. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck right back at square one in 2018 and 2020. So again, get together, find like-minded people. If you can't find like-minded people, find people that you can convince to come to our side. You know, real progressives is going to be out here, and we're going to be out here working and grinding from today on until the next election and beyond. We're here to stay. We're here to stay with the issues. We're going to work as hard as we can to keep this thing going so that we don't get stuck with these unnecessary wars that we know the neoliberals are coming after us for. I have a 16-year-old son. I don't want him being stuck in a war. I'm pretty sure many of many other ones who are listening to this video or watching this video 
They have kids too that they don't want them stuck in wars. We know that um, a lot of them, the Democrats, they're looking to um, institute the selective service for girls now, so that people's eighteen-year-old daughters might get stuck in the military as well. That's not viable. We can't build our economy off a of war. We have to stop neoliberal domination in the world. Because as we know, all these people that rule the world, they all stick together. They might lie to us and say, oh, they hate each other and everything. But we know the truth. Behind those closed doors, they buddying up, probably drinking glass of wine and everything. We have to be against war because war is all about profit for rich people. And what it does is it makes people in other countries poor. When they destroy their houses, we destroy their energy sources, we destroy their water. That's more poor people in the world. Progressives can't stand for that. So we need to be exclusively anti-war. If it can't be done by diplomacy, we need to find a stronger method of diplomacy. We just can't do it anymore. I don't want to take up too much time from everybody today, but I just want to thank you for sticking with real progressives all this time. And as, we, as I said earlier, we're going to be out there fighting for the truth. And we need you to go out there and fight for the truth as well. So again, everybody can't be an activist. Everybody can't be a standing rock. Everybody won't be able to go up to Occupy Inauguration in January. Everybody won't be able to go pick it, pick it a job or something at um, Wells Fargo or whatever, or whatever banks they're supporting um, the Dakota Access Pipeline or opening bad accounts like Wells Fargo did. But everybody can be an activist in their, their homes, in their families, and in their communities, even if it's just talking to people. Stay strong. Remember, it's in our hands. Also, if, if you know what you can do, you can't help out that way, don't be afraid to donate even just a dollar to pay on our Patreon account. The link is listed above. And also follow us on our other media sources, on Twitter at Real Progress US, um, YouTube at Real Progressive US, or um, also check out our website, www.realprogressiveusa.com. Again, this is Jabari at Real Progressives. Stay strong, stay united. It's in our hands.